So Boston Bruins captain just signed a one-year $2.5 million extension with the Boston Bruins and in conjunction with his buddy David Krejci being revived back from the dead to sign a one-year $1 million contract. Coincidence, at Bargeron was talking about, oh, I might retire and Krejci was out of there and Bruce Cassidy leaves. All of a sudden, they all come back together. They all want to play for the Boston Bruins. Hmm, makes you wonder what kind of a coach Bruce Cassidy Cassidy was for the Boston Bruins, but hey, after this, that's now three guys that a lot of people, including myself, talked about, hey, would these guys maybe want to come home and play for the Montreal Canadiens? Those three guys being Patrice Bergeron, uh, the other one was Chris Letang, who re-upped long-term with the Pittsburgh Penguins, and Jonathan Huberdeau. I'm still confused. I don't know. Do you guys want me to say the names in the French accent? Because I can. Or do you want me to stick with it in English? Some people say it's cringe. Some people love it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm just going to stick with the English one for now. But those three guys are three dudes that a lot of people thought, hey, they're proud Montreal Canadiens fans growing up. They grew up in the region. They seem keen to play for the Montreal Canadiens. Well, all three of them... Nope. Okay. Huberto resigns long term in Calgary. Latang in Pittsburgh and B Patrice Bergeron. Wait till you see what he says here. So, Jimmy Murphy of Montreal Hockey Now asked Captain Patrice Bergeron. This is a tweet, by the way, he just put out. If former agent slash current Habs GM Ken, Fu Ken Hughes tried to lure him to Montreal, here's the quote that Patrice Bergeron said. He's known me for 20 years, so he knows me well enough to know that the Boston Bruins is the only place I wanted to be. So does that kind of insinuate that Ken Hughes didn't even really try to get Patrice Bergeron to come to the Habs because he knew that he was going to have nothing of it? Um, or did he try a little bit, but he kind of knew that Patrice had his mind set on returning to Boston? Who knows, but hey kind of strange that a lot of the guys that many fans and media people were peddling like hey this guy might want to come to Montreal to finish his career it might be very attractive given how uh, lucrative how legendary the franchise is and these guys are turning around and saying nope so Patrice Bergeron guy who grew up a big big Montreal fan but again we know his loyalties with the Boston Bruins for the past like 20 years right um, but for him to just straight up come out and say, like, refuse to play for the Montreal Canadiens, refuse to sign for the Montreal Canadiens, and any other team for that matter. I mean, look, this is nothing against the Montreal Canadiens. It's probably the rivalry had something to do with it. He didn't want to break Boston Bruins fans' hearts. He also has a ton of loyalty, love, family in Boston, doesn't want to change that. He's the captain of that team. So, I mean, I totally understand it. Latang, same type of deal. Veteran, when a team drafted you, they gave you everything. They gave you a shot to play. They gave you opportunity. They helped turn you into the player that you are. It's really hard, especially when you're a leader on that team, to leave. Okay, like, as attractive as the Montreal Canadiens are... I mean, you can't really battle with loyalty very much. I mean, it's different than like the Calgary Flames. They try out to loyalty everything with Johnny Gaudreau. Loyalty and this and show him with the money they were giving him. And he turned their, his backs on them. Boom, just like that. But hey, with guys like Bergeron, guys like Letang, it's a different story. Okay, so I mean... For him to straight up refuse to play for the Montreal Canadiens, it just shows his loyalty to the Boston Bruins and everything he's done for that organization and everything they've done for him. And they've got like a last dance feel here. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they went out and got Milan Lucic from the Calgary Flames. Get the whole band back together, why don't you? Okay, you've got Krejci, Bergeron, Marchand, um... Maybe Lucic, <laughs> that would be hilarious. They probably won't do that. Let's be real here. Uh, maybe Zdeno Chara, <laughs> you know, as an assistant coach if he can't play anymore. But, hey, I mean, to me, it's a last dance type of thing. And it's a little bit saddening because, of course, there's also a rebuild here to talk about for the Montreal Canadiens. That probably wasn't too attractive for Patrice to come to. But, um, hey. At the end of the day, loyalty wins out. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Would you have liked to see Bergeron, or is it not the right time anyways? I'll see you guys in the comments down below. You know I'll be reading them. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.